Playing this note can actually be a little bit tricky if you're a beginner. So um, I'm going to cover the fingering first and then give you just a short tip on how to actually practice going up to this note. But first of all, the fingering. So you want to start by adding your left thumb on the octave key in the back, on the back of the saxophone. And then uh, you rest your, your left hand over these three palm keys here on the side. Now you want to push down with the, your palm, the palm of your hand, on the first of these three keys. And when I say the first key, I actually refer to the key that's the closest to your body. So uh, the octave key on the back, and then uh, relax your hand over the palm keys here, so you can still reach the other keys here in front of the saxophone. And then just lower your palm and uh, push down on that first key, which is the closest key to your body. And that will give you that note, and it sounds like this. All right, so a quick tip here. When you're a beginner, it may be a little bit um, hard to hit that note just by fingering and playing it. So what I recommend is actually go uh, start uh, from one of the lower uh, notes there and walk up to that note and uh, give that some time as well because it does take some time to actually get this note right. So um, I would recommend that you start from A with octave key which is just two fingers in the front and the octave key will be pushing now and throughout these um, uh, all of these notes. So I'm just going to mention the fingerings in the front from here on. So A, B, C, and then D on the side. So that's one way to do it. And then it should sound something like this. Or uh, if you can even, um, uh, if you can hit that C, you can even start from that C with octave key. And uh, just go what's called chromatically, which means that you go C, C sharp, just the octave key, and then that D on the side.